ignoring me? Tifa and I... Yeah, this is definitely different from the original. This part never happened. <sighs> Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it. I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the plan is what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right then, lead the way. You got it! Huh. Watch out for live wires! They're everywhere! Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. How much farther do we have to go? Not far. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. I gotta say, Can't this game is pretty good so far. Them. Can't wait to take a hot shower. I'm still astounded by the graphics of the game, to be honest with you. Because they did a really good job. Like, their attention to detail is spot on. She's pretty good to smooth. Go. Hold those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Sad. <laughs> it's sad to see Attention, them die. All Attention, all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of sector... No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. 
This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! You know, with this whole coronavirus thing going on, kinda sucks that the weather doesn't want to cooperate. Like right now it's really windy. We'll I don't know if we're gonna for the last get train home. Shouldn't be able to hear. Hopefully, but in the freight car. it is it. very windy. Later then. Hey, I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at base. Wow, what a jerk. to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <laughs> Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Dude, Cloud is a smart ass. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, you got a material, you equip it over here, yada, 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 all that fancy jazz. All right, all right. All right, cool. Now that we got that straight, Straight on and skippy. See, I mean, that's not funny. I haven't played this and I already know what to do. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of similar to the original. See you on the train. It's kind of similar to the original a little bit. But in the originals, you didn't get a uh, cure from Jesse. You actually don't get cure for a while, actually, until you're in uh, Shinra Tower. So it's kind of interesting that I got it this early, and Barrett never even had materia in the other one. So I mean, they probably did that because of the difficulty. Obviously, this is more strategy based rather than uh, hacking and slashing. But oh, they tweaked it. They tweaked it a couple different things. Up here! Look up! I said look up! Careful up here! This could collapse at any moment. If you want up, you'll have to use those stairs. We'll get you to a doctor soon. Hang in. The stairs are right there if you want to try crossing the road. people hate to see it if you can give us a sign got someone in need of medical attention Damn, can you get up there Damn. hey you all right station's intact oh boy
Yeah, this is definitely different from the original. This part never happened in the original. He couldn't be. But then... Yeah, see, this is looking like, uh... I don't want to spoil it for any of you guys that didn't play the original. But y'all not going to really see this town until the second game, unfortunately. So my speculation is that uh, what they're doing with this game is that they're going based off, they're making three different games based off the different discs. So game one is based off disc one which is a lot of the Shinra based uh, missions and things like that like Shinra storyline pretty much and then this two is when you finally get out of Midgar so I guess you could say this one is Midgar this two is beyond Midgar once you get out of, into the main world and get to go to like the different cities and stuff like that so I makes you wonder how they're actually gonna do that part because the original Final Fantasy 7 was so expansive that you have to travel everywhere, so it kind of makes more of it. I'm making kind of like a, a free roam, so to speak. If they did that, that'd be kind of dope. At that point, it'd be almost like a MMO RPG in a way. You're not real. You're dead. I am. Um... I killed you with my own. <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown, the world so bright, the sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you, the shiver of her flesh yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you, this one favor. Don't worry. It's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. <laughs> Yo, why does it sound like Itachi speaking to Sasuke? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. They dead made this as if Sethroff is Itachi and Cloud is I'm Sasuke. Pits. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. It's kind of interesting. All right, you got this. That they would take that route. Try the alley, but is getting to the station really worth breaking our necks over? Yes, because we won't. I repeat, this is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. An evacuation order has been issued to the occupants of buildings in the vicinity of the Sector H Expressway. You are advised to vacate the area. I don't want to get all political or anything like that, but it kind of makes me wonder if. Would our own go government do this to us? 
It is not safe to remain indoors. Please leave your residence Man. at once. What a mess. I repeat. The reactor. This is an alert from the Sinra Do Emergency I'm Operation. taking the kids to safety. An evacuation order has been issued. I feel like I'm playing Spider-Man with these whole, uh, st <laughs> not playing Spider-Man, I feel like it's like a Spider-Man scene or like New York City, those little scaffoldings. Don't let the intruder escape. Oh. You know what? Let me see what's down this way. Alright, so I'm probably gonna fast forward this a little bit. <laughs> Yo, she good? She like she tripping on acid. Too weak to save anyone. <laughs> Not even yourself. Are you okay? Yo, them eyes, though. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know. For scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. That's funny. <laughs> they both tripping on acid. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self. <laughs> Help me! Yes, it doesn't happen in the original either. Wait! I know that! 
Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Hmm. You think he's a keeper? Security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? This Lucky us. From We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold in. Due to an explosion at Marco Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. No guards here, right? Wow, who just like to be people riding in the freight cars? Unless they don't have to sleep. Right now! Oh, never mind. Man, Sorry everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. They even hey, have um, down there. Down there. If you're about to unburden yourself, don't. Sheesh! You don't make it easy. Thank goodness, I made the train. Wait, what the... Hey, got a sec? You're, uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. How they call well, the perpetrators my hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Do you think Wu ties to blame? Little help, Cloud? Please? I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. No. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. would go so far as to bomb a reactor. <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <gasps> out your ass. <gasps> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? J just who do you think you are? A law-abiding, concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. 
In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Those fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Time for a little nap. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level, atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <sighs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> ah. hm. Now get some r, r You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> Go junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot. Shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ashes. Um, excuse me, uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? No, sir! 